Welcome to Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. My name is Joanne and I'm the Family and Community Health County Extension Agent for Texas A&M AgriLife Extension in Allen County. In this episode, Sewing with the Master Clean Volunteers, Lupita Oreste, a MCV member, will teach us how to make a cover for a shopping cart. For this project, you'll need a fat quarter, velcro, and your sewing supplies. Now, let's welcome Lupita Oreste. Hi, my name is Lupita Oreste. I am a member of the Master's Clothing Volunteer Program. Today I will teach you how to make a cover for a shopping cart. They're washable, so every time you go to the groceries, you can take your, your cover. Uh, at the finished product looks like this. This would be for the HEV uh, carts. And for the regular Dollar Tree and Dollar Generals, those other stores that I go to, it would look like this. So they're a little different. I experienced uh, both of them already, so I know how they work. To do the, the simple one, you would just need a, a two rectangles that are six inches wide and 19 and a half long. So you would just place your, your pattern straight on the fold like this, on the fold. But if we wanted to do the HEV one, so for HEV cards, then we would place our pattern here on a fold. This way. Here's the pattern. You would place on a fold and on a fold here. So we can cut the piece of material out. The marks are for the Velcro. So once we cut the material, We we'll cut our pattern out, cut one out, which is this. Our next step would be to right sides together and start sewing. So we would sew around, stop, start again. The next thing would be to cut the corners, clip the edges, and turn it around. So are we ready to sew? I am going to use a black thread so we can see oh, that's what we're doing, okay? So we start sewing all around. I usually back stitch, actually. Get to the corner, clip. Stop for the opening, more or less four to five inches. I would suggest you don't do it on a, a, uh, a solid color. It will actually it could be a solid color, but it wouldn't have to be like in a bright red, yellow, something that doesn't blend in with the handle. Because a lot of times we get distracted and we'll we forget to take it off once we're done shopping. So actually, if you buy something bright that will call your attention to take it off, that would work. Next, we cut the corners. We got plenty of corners to cut. We clip them. And this is just to reduce the bulk so we can have nice uh, crispy corners. And then in. at the at this corner, we actually do a a slit. Okay, so we're ready to flip. Turn the inside out. I usually use a something to poke out the, the corners the pencil a sharp well not too sharp because you only need to cut through it but something where you can pull out okay so the next step after i finished all around i left the opening here we're just going to go to the iron and press and after the pressing then we'll do this top stitch I'm 
we're going to iron and press, especially the corners, the edges. So when we go back to the sewing machine, we can top stitch all around. And it, at the same time, we're going to be closing the, the opening that we had left in the middle. I'll top stitch. Our next step would be to place the Velcro. When we place the Velcro, we're going to place one Velcro on one side at the top, then we flip it and we place the Velcro on the other side, on the back side. Usually cut the length of this piece of the handle. Make sure you cut the loop, the loops, and the oops, I guess it's what they're called. Same time. So now we've got the back and the front. I gotta tell you, that would be a good idea to pin. So that you know you're placing one on the top edge. I would say place it right below or on top of the top stitch. So right now I'm just placing them where they, I think it's going to go so we, I won't lose them. And we flip it over and the other side of the velcro will go on the bottom. Okay, as I told you we placed the velcro once on the top and one on the bottom. Or either, it doesn't matter what side it would be top and bottom. but. It has to be on the opposite side. So we stitch also again, we stitch the Velcro all around the four corners, all the four sides, I mean. And I would definitely go back in front, stitch uh, on the edge. There, there is a little space where you can stitch the Velcro. Like I told you, it was one at each, one on the top and one in the bottom. Just make sure that there, the loops are on one side and the hoops are on the other side. Once we're, it usually it'll just fall by itself. And there you have it. You have your handle, safety covers for the stopping carts. Uh, once you're done with your shopping, you take it off, fold it, place it in a baggie, seal it, you can put it in your purse. Once you get home, you take it out and you wash it, and they're reusable. That's it. Thank you, Lupita Urese, for teaching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Hidalgo County and like and follow our Facebook page at AgriLife Extension Family Resources Hidalgo County. If you made this project, please comment our Facebook page or hashtag MCVRGVSO. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.